Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Russian leader Vladimir Putin seems to be leading the world's discussion in getting what he wants in the Mideast, not just on Syria, but also in his backing for Iran. And we are very, very lucky to have Wall Street Journal contributing editor, Russian opposition leader, and one of the greatest chess players of all time, Gary Kasparov here in New York to talk about him. Uh, Gary, welcome. Thank you uh, for inviting me. You've been observing Putin for many, many years now up close. Uh, do any of his moves on Syria surprise you? None. Uh, Putin is, is a very savvy player, and he just he can feel the weakness. As every dictator, he grows with the weakness of his counterpart. And when you look at the current situation with Syria, over the last two weeks, nothing has changed on the ground. So same facts. But two weeks ago, Assad was hiding in a bunker, fearing for his life. <laughs> and now, now looks like he's, he's going to stay. He's listing demands, you know. So yeah. what's happening in these two weeks? Lack of leadership. It's entirely Obama's fault, you know. It's a collapse of this uh, of this presidency. And I think it's the it's the, it's the worst moment in the history of this office, because America was never so publicly humiliated for actually for no reason, because you know it's uh, Obama. When Obama said the red line, he could hit next minute after he learned that, that Assad has used uh, chemicals. N knowing Putin's character, what is the right way to deal with him? What are the principles that you would use to handle a guy like that? Only strengths. It has the only language they understand, whether it's Hitler, Stalin, Mao Zedong, all of them, Kim Jong-il, Iranians, Assad. By the way, we look at Assad. Netanyahu, Israel, bombed several times over the last year some of the, dest some of the uh, locations with Russian uh, anti-missiles uh, um, mm, uh, rockets. Uh, and uh, did you hear about any complaints? <laughs> did you hear <laughs> Syrians no, you know, uh, claiming you know, UN resolution to prevent it? No, it's, we, we know all the facts. They're on the ground. And uh, uh, to let Putin... Uh, lead the world on this issue because he completely changed the agenda. We talk, now we're talking about something else. Nobody talks about thousands of people killed by Assad. Nobody talks about the civil war there and Assad, you know, being just a butcher. And now, you know, Assad is the respected politician. He's a part of the negotiating table. Well, look, the United States has a lot of allies, but we also have a lot of enemies like Russia. As Putin steps into this breach that you've just described, does Putin attract other countries like Iran, like China, to his side? Is he forming a coalition now that, that, that we should be worried about? It's not him. It's Obama's forming a coalition because Putin, Putin uses the weakness of, of the White House, you know, to present him as the real leader because we live in a time of the great uncertainty and at the end of the day everybody you know whether it's China, Iran, Syria or the monarchists in the Gulf or South Korea or Baltic states they're all looking for the leadership and now what they see that America acts like a, uh, like a paper tiger so can you rely on the word of US president who once said the red line so I think you know it's Obama's Obama's um, big statements and a no action uh, attitude uh, created a very dangerous vacuum which Putin is, has been has been uh, um, occupying uh, steadily uh, and uh, yes you know I think that the the, the weakness that America showed uh, the lack of of leadership may create very dangerous um, situations all over the world because every thug in the world is just watching now the situation and considering whether it's time to, to push their agenda forward. Every thug in the world is watching. Contributing editor, opposition, Russian opposition leader Gary Kasparov, thank you.